have a minimum width and they cannot get smaller than that that means they will drop in the next line then 960 pixels you can do that so it will not grow any more than that my name is Bogdan and I have over 10 years of experience working as a UI UX designer I am a senior UX engineer and I work in financial services and previously have worked for other large corporations as well as working with startups. I've checked a lot of your comments, a lot, a lot of your activity and the type of content that you prefer on this channel and I've seen that you guys quite like the type of raw content in terms of not highly edited and a bit more the type of guides, tutorials, things that you can learn from and not just like theory. You guys like practice and see things exactly how they are done in different software and especially Figma because that's what we focus a lot. Figma is the main tool for designers. But in today's video, I want to show you something specific. I think it's a really powerful way to prototype your designs and it's good to know how to create responsive web banners. So going from mobile to desktop. And I have here an example that I previously done. And I want to show you exactly how to do this. So you see I have, this is more, you know, a desktop variant of the hero banner, but you'll see that as soon as I go on mobile, it drops uh, underneath. Now, by default, Figma doesn't do that, so you have to know exactly how to set it up in order to get this effect. And I have here the files that you'll find available in the description of this video. Feel free to download the practice files and you'll be able to follow this tutorial more easily. If you want to create your own assets, feel free to do that. The other finalized project is also available so you can download both with the same from the same link you can download both if you want the actual prototype done maybe it's an easier way for you to do so we have here the content which is formed of headline and some body text as well as the actions that will be on the hero banner we have the primary and secondary they're all within an auto layout even the actions and the content as well as the image it's also an auto layout you'll see there is no content inside it so we don't have any any frames anything like that this is pure auto layout and has a feel of uh, an image so you can change it uh, the way you want now what do we do with this we group them well first let's group the content with the actions with another auto layout so if you press here that will form your auto layout you can aim it to left side or let's actually just call it simply content. Now, this by default is going to be stayed as hug. We don't have any other option yet. We'll want to set this as field, but we'll do that very soon. Now we have the image and we have the content and we want to group them together within another let auto layout here. I'll call this one hero banner. And now by default, we'll have to set it up because it doesn't really work the way we want. So I'll leave it as hug for the hero banner, but the content inside, I want this one to be as fill and I want this one to be fill as well. We have a bit of gap here, so I'll, I'll add about 32 gap between them. Also, I want this one to be fill, so it takes up the rest of the space available same for the actions i want that to fill the entire space for this the space between the content and the actions i will set it up as 32 the margin between the margin on the left and right side i'll set it as 32 and the margin the top and bottom i'll set it as 32. now we have that one set up let's have a look to see how it works it does work pretty well so it takes about half and half of the space available so this will take about 50 percent and this 50 percent because of the way we set them up both with fill now the problem is i just noticed we need this one to be well actually it's fine because we cannot really you know control them that much anyway so that's perfect as it is but how do we set it up so it drops on the next 
uh, on the next row if you want to have the image drop on the next row and this one take the rest of the of the row so we have them both ready we need to set this one with a minimum height of 375 now it's up to you uh, have a look at what the users would mainly use i know from experience 375 should fit most of the cases so that should be fine here and because this one is filled shouldn't uh, you know cause too much of an issue so it will so we have this one set to 375 and this one we also need to set it as 375 minimum weight they will so now we need the last thing, last bit to set this one as wrap. So both have a minimum width and they cannot get smaller than that. That means they will drop on the next line once they reach the minimum it they can get. So now we have that one ready. Uh, you can also set a maximum width as an example. So if you don't want this to be more than 960 pixels you can do that so it will not grow any more than that i think that's a pretty good way to control your components uh, when you add them to the main section so i hope you enjoyed the video if you found it useful please remember to subscribe to this channel like this video and let me know in the comments what would you like to see in the next video